Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll test our XSS skill in this advanced website, which is XSS game websites. So you can simply go to this link and you'll just get this website. So you do not need to just log into this page in order to just test your XSS skill. You simply go to the level one and you will just get this page. So let's see, we'll just pass the query here. I'll say just hello. So I'll just press search and you could see hello has been reflected. That means we'll just need to pass something instead of hello. So we have done this many times. So I'll just pass here alert of one and I'll just close my script. So when I just close my script, then you will see we have got this pop up saying congratulations, you executed the alert. So let's go to the advance to the next level so we have got the next level here so this one is quite interesting so let's see let's first clear all the post for me and here you have to just go to the hint so here is you the hint so you can simply take uh, this hint if you want so you could see that we have the two hint and three hint and you could see what we have seen here so entering a script tag on this level will not work. So let's see by just typing the script and alert of one and simply passing the script and let's see if this works or not. So let's share this status. So if you just pass this script, then it is invisible in our post. That means the script won't work over here. So we have to make the content. So because it is saying here something like the content. So content is visible. And if you just talk about the content, it is the HTML tag. So we have to make our payload that will be injected inside the HTML tag. So anything that comes on your mind when we talk about the HTML is the event. That means we have to wrap our XSS code or basically JavaScript code inside the HTML tag. And that is possible with the event. So I'll just make the image tag to do for this. And I'll say SRC. Uh, let me say anything over here. So let me say foo and now on error so if you just remember this on error is the attribute of this image tag which will just be executed when we just fail to load this image which is in this case because we don't have any image that is named with foo that means this event will be executed and when this event will be triggered i want to get the alert so i'll just say alert me one and this will be our matches. So now we'll just close our image tag. So let me just close this real quick and let me just run this. Then you could see the pop up saying congratulations. So what we just did here was you could see this that the image has not been loaded because we don't have any image. So on error will be executed and in the on error event we just made our alert message to be executed so let's go to the next level and you could see we have something that is the images here so it should be something that is very much advanced to you so you could go to the image 2 image 3 so if i just see here some convention you can also take the advantage of this hint so if you just see the hint it will say that to locate the bug review the javascript so this is the simple hint so you could see here the data in windows dot location object so this windows dot location is referring to the url so if i just say something like instead of one if i just say two instead of three i'll just change to three so that means it is something to link with this link so we can inject our script to this link. So what I need to do is simply, I want to inject the code over here. So I have to say something like on error, which was the event that will be called when there is some error. So if it's the error, I want to give something the alert of XSS, something like this. And I want to close this one the XSS and I want to close my 
this field so what we just did here was if there is failed to load the image we'll just give this alert so if i just press go and let's see if this works or not so it is working that means this image has not been loaded and we just get this alert because this part has been executed on error which is our event when there is a error to fail the image to load so i'll just advance to the next level and this is our next level which is must be level 4 so this level 4 let's see what this is doing so let me see the show hint so it is saying take a look at how start timer function is called and another is when browser see that it is just basically encryption there so foo bar z is same as this that means there is something to do with the encryption and the next one is try entering a single quote and watch the console error so something that is saying that let's put this one create a timer and it is saying your timer will be executed in the second but if you see that it is not going to execute so it is not going to just stop for us so if i just go back and if i just put instead of this code if i just say five create a timer and it will just execute in the five second let's wait for the five second and let's see it is saying time is up so that means if i just put something that is this code it is going to be something that is uh, there will be error console so it won't be executed so that means we have to first close our timer and this is the way to close and after that we'll just give the alert of xss so if i just pass here with this one so what we just did here was we just close our timer and after we close that time function because we have something to do with this start timer method so if i see the source code then you could see that we'll have something like let me search start timer so it should be somewhere here so it is saying take a look at the word because uh, we are not having any function right here so it is just the way to show us that there should be close of this function first function should be closed that is start timer and after that we'll just execute this alert so let's see if this works so it is working perfectly and basically what we just did here was we just close first start timer method and after that we just made our xss attack which was basically this xss message alert so let's go to the another challenge here so now we are in this simple challenge again so let's see how this work so we are in this frame now and if i just press this sign up then you could see there is a change in this sign up and we are just getting this next so next is basically this field so whenever i just press next something is going to happen so instead of confirm i have to change to the javascript code so let's open my sublime first and here what you need to do is first of all you have to just do something like make the javascript code to execute with the encryption so let me just search for html url encoding and here is a encoding reference let's go here and let's search for something like this so this is a percentage 3a and basically this is the way to give the semicolon so what i just need is here we just need to write a javascript so it should be javascript and percentage 3a was basically this column and i want to give alert and i want to give the percentage to be so if you search for the percentage to be it should be right here which is just giving us a plus sign or percentage 20 years. so let me search for another thing instead of 12 8 to be i'll want to make a another payload instead of a simple payload so let's search for something like 
Okay, where is that? Look, it is here because we want to just open that for the alert and percentage 27 is for this. So what you need to do is simply we'll just pass this one and we'll pass this simple code. We'll pass the XSS and we'll just close this with this code and again this. So what we just did over here was we just made use of this code to be executed over here. So simply what you need to do is simply put that code or simply this payload. So if I just copy this and just put it right here and let me just press go. Let me just press to this next. Then you could see congratulations you executed an alert. So you can do this and instead of this you can also do something like encoding so you can just make use of encoding so what encoding does is basically it will just execute this code that is with the encoding so if i just say percentage 3a so that means it is semicolon or basically colon so percentage 3a here is a colon so if you see here it should be um, right here so colon is here so percentage 3a is the colon so we are just making this colon first and i want to make the alert so after alert you have to encode this opening parenthesis so for the opening parenthesis it is percentage 2a which is right over here so you will just encode it with percentage 2a and you have to encode this one code so if you see here it is percentage 27 so i'll just encode it with percentage 27 and similar goes for this that is closing the code which is same as percentage 27 and the closing parenthesis has the encoding of percentage 29 so you can simply use this copy this one go back and simply put here so you can paste it let's press go let's press next then you could see we just get the same alert so let's go to the next level now so this is the another challenge which is the last challenge of here so we can see that there is a link over here saying that gadget dot js so this is the file and we have the message right at the down that it's saying loaded gadget from this gadget dot js file that means it has to do something with this link so what if i just remove this part so instead of this because this has been reflected right over here if you see this static gadget dot js has reflected right over here so instead of this let me just remove all of this let's press go and see what happens Okay, let me just press go nothing is happening okay let me refresh this page again so let me just remove all of this let me press go okay let me just put here the slash and press go and then it is saying loaded gadget from that is slash so that means anything after here will be reflected so if i just say hello and go so it is couldn't load gadget from hello because there is no gadget but it is just reflecting right down here that means we can just make now our own data of the javascript that is with the data and colon and give the text i want to make the text that would be plain and after that we'll just make the alert message so i want to give the alert of one and now when i just press go you could see that we get this execution so what we just did here was we see for the reflection on the pages and the data which is basically the way to just inject our code inside this frame so we just made our own alert message to be injected in this reflected accesses attack so this is the way to just 
do so you can also see this hint if you just want to get some reference so it is saying see how the value of location fragment so basically this was the fragment where after this slash influences the url so anything you put after this has was reflected right down here so you made use of that vulnerabilities to see our data in the plain format which is our javascript code so when you just press go it is reflected right here so we have completed our challenges that is six challenges over here so well done so now let's see for more challenges in the upcoming lecture see you in the next one